I don't believe this one's exactly biblical, but may, perhaps right. you could make it biblical. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Pastor Skeet, yes. do you recommend taking the vaccine? Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe I should pray again. Okay. <laughs> the Seventh-day Adventist Church put out a statement last year telling members it's an individual decision you have to make. The church believes in following the health principles. The church also believes in following science that does not conflict with the Bible. So you have to decide whether you do your own research there are several vaccines, AstraZeneca, Pfizer, another thing. Which one, you do your research, which has a greater percentage of success. You do your research. You also listen to established scientists who have their own concerns. Don't just listen to those who make the, the vaccine. Listen to the other side so you get a balanced view. Then you claim Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. You read Psalm 25, verse 4, Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. You ask God, place a conviction on me. Should I take this vaccine? If the Lord tells you to take it, you take it. Don't be too afraid. Remember Paul in Acts 28, he landed on an island and a, a venomous snake bit him. Are you with me? He shook it off. Why? Because he was about God's business and so if you consider the vaccine venomous you have a God who can take care of you but seek his direction first are you with me God keeps his promises I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go I have to go to Fiji in July for two weeks now I have a choice I can go with no vaccine and I enter 14 days of quarantine before I begin a two-week revival or I can take a vaccine and go straight into the revival, so I'm still talking to God. Your choice with God's direction, and God does not fail to guide his people. Amen. He may tell you, take it. He may tell him, don't take it. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent.